Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I sure do appreciate all of my new subscribers that have been coming on and of course my current subscribers. I wouldn't be here without you guys. I appreciate you. Look at this pile in front of you. So I went to a thrift store and they have bins out front before you even go inside and you fill up a bag and it's two dollars it's actually a dollar 87 but with taxes two dollars so all of this that you see here i got um from those bins so this is brand new it's so soft and I don't know what I will do with it, but I have seen people making journals out of these. So I grabbed that, you know, $2 for a whole bag. You might as well, right? And then here is some... Why am I drawing a blank? Totally drawing a blank. But um, here's some of that stuff that you know what it is. Here's a little bit of seam binding. Some playing cards, which I have a huge, I'm talking huge amount of playing cards. And I really need to start doing something with them. I really do. And then these are Pictionary Frame Game, Mira Mira. So these will be fun to play with. You know, I can see, instead of just putting it in a journal like this, just sewing over the front and back. Just slightly to where you can still see it, but to where you can write on it. And then putting it in small tucks. So I think I should just sew. A bunch of these and have them ready to go and then I got these and these are like little tissue papers and I think if I um, coffee dye these then they will resemble tea bags because I don't have a lot of tea bags, but there's a lot of projects that I like to do with tea bags. So I think the the texture of them will resemble tea bags once I coffee dye them. And then cute little paper. I never ever pass up paper. Even if I can't use them in a journal, I use them for scrap paper at home. And then all of these, which they're not all here, but these are still fun to um, to use as tabbed journaling cards. One lonely frog sticker, and then this. I don't know what the paper looks like. Well, let's look. Oh, perfect for a Christmas journal looks exactly like it looks on the front not all not all it doesn't even have to be used for a journal actually it can be used for happy mail or racks i love doing doing those and then this i thought this was neat and it seems like they're all here i don't know what i'll use it for but we have these plastic and then the cards and then in the back it has a pocket with tabs to put on it so it seems like this is new too but i'm not sure what i'll do with that it's missing a ring but you know i probably have the rings and then like i said paper but it's a nice color, so I'll love using that in journals. And this I got, this for me, I'm surprised that they had it out in the bin and not 
with their books. But check this out. Let me. It has pages and pages and pages of different stitchy, stitching. Let me see. Let me see if I can flip it. Look at that. Now you can see it. So that I'm keeping for me because I've been wanting to sew and wanting to sew on tags. I've done a couple and that'll help me learn stitches. This is second grade tablet paper, awesome coloring. And it seems like it's old. And then the rest of this are various types of fabric. So this, I don't know, it's not my style, but you know, basically free, it didn't cost anything. I'll have it for something. I'm, all I can see is Christmas with this, with that one. That's all I see. And then there are a couple of these for the, the that's the back side. This is the front side. That would make a nice journaling cover, journal cover. Here's the other one. And then here, not too bad. And then, and, and of course these are probably napkins. But, you know, here's green. Cut it up. You, you know, I need green fabric. Cut it up. Here's red. And then here is yellow. So the yellow is cotton. The rest of them are polyester. And this flower one is cotton. And, of course, this, I think, is rayon. And I think it's a sweater, but I'm not sure. So that was from the $2 bin. And then I went inside. And look at that. I found tags for my Sizzix for only $1.99. So I thought that was cool. And then here's some thank you cards. Look how pretty those are. I always use thank you cards and these ones are really pretty for 59 cents. Two of them are used so I can use the front for something. And then for 99 cents, an awesome embossed unicorn and then um, some rose writing paper and two of them are card stock and a bunch of envelopes definitely worth 99 cents this was my best buy vellum 59 cents and originally there were 50 sheets and i can say there's probably still close to 50. there's a lot of sheets in there that was my best buy and then we have ledger paper. Can't have too much of that, 59 cents. Science paper for 29 cents, which is awesome. And with Holly going into sixth grade, they'll be using that. This was my next best buy. These were 99 cents each. These are binding covers, but what they are is they're clear. So acetate, you see that? No, you can't because they're clear. And they're, you know, they're full. And there are 20 in each, so 99 cents each. And then that's just tissue paper for 59 cents. 
wrapping paper for 59 cents, but it's pretty, it's all embossed. So it'll be pretty cut out. And then rub on transfers for 59 cents. And I love the color. And then I got photo paper for 99 cents. This is gloss paper. I love using the matte paper to print out the printables or, you know, whatever paper that I'm using for a journal. The matte photo paper is so much better, but for 99 cents, I went ahead and, and grabbed this and I'll print um, something pretty on this gloss paper, you know, something that has to do with roses or butterflies, something that's really pretty. And then the last thing I got was this, and I'm not sure what I'll use it for. I definitely don't like that, but here's a pocket here, and it's like a Ziploc. When you open it up, it's full of pockets um, that you can mark, you know, each one, what each pocket, dividers, that's what I'm thinking of. So it has four, five, six pockets with four dividers. So, I don't know. I print out a lot of the printables and I haven't fi done a filing system, which I want to get a filing cabinet so that um, I can have them in a filing cabinet. Um, but I might use this until I get a filing cabinet, who knows? But it was 99 cents as well, so I wasn't going to pass up on that. Holly might be able to use it for school if I can't. So that is what I found um, this week. And I think I might start participating in the Thrifty Thursday because I go shopping so much. Um, and it's practically every week. So why not latch on to that Thrifty Thursday hashtag? So I do want to do a shout out to Markets of Sunshine, it's Etsy shop, and Facebook group, Junk Journal Junction. Marsha makes these. If you're looking for, um, oh, now I'm drawing another blank. Well, if you're looking for these, you can get them from her Etsy shop, Markets of Sunshine. And it really great price, all different kind, as you can see here. I bought a few different sets because I like using these. These are so cool. And I don't know how to make them. I love the flamingo. I don't know how to make them, so I buy them. But I wanted to give a shout out to her, Markets of Sunshine. Go check her out and thank you for seeing what I got today and I hope uh, there's some inspiration in there for you. Until the next video, happy crafting.